For week five's assignment, you guys are going to be tracing around a cast shadow. You can use artificial light or sunlight to create those cast shadows. Anything that has holes through it that makes in interesting silhouettes, like the shopping cart here or my kid's bike, branches, um, plants make really beautiful cast shadows, figurines like um, toys, action figures can be pretty cool to put on the ground and use their cast shadows to trace around. You will need to have some sort of paper to draw on, um, preferably about twice the size of a piece of notebook paper. This could be cardboard. You could cut apart a cereal box and use the inside of that. So any surface that you can find that you can draw on and paint on would work. So I've mixed up some of our um, paints here. Um, basically pigments that I've made from stuff I have at home. Uh, food coloring works really well for this. Spices, I have some paprika here, um, cayenne pepper, cumin, um, anything basically that has some pigment to it could be used to create paint. This here is some cream juice. Um, you could try cranberry juice. Anything you can find that you can basically add water to even things like dirt, where you can create a substance where you can paint. Um, right here, I've got some black tea that I've brewed. Tea and coffee work really well. They have some pretty strong pigments. If your family members are coffee drinkers or you're a coffee drinker, like that coffee that's on the bottom of the pot after it's been sitting there for a while works really well because it's a very concentrated pigment. Um, you'll need pretty strong pigments for the color to show up, so less water to start with. If you need to add more water as you go, you can. So I've got a, a tea, a purple from food coloring, um, like this burnt orange from paprika. It's got some specks in it that can actually pre be pretty cool in your painting. Add some texture and then juice here. Once you have your pigments uh, made, Try a few different ones, kind of experiment, have fun with it. Um, you're going to see what those look like when you apply them to paper. If you have something like a piece of cardboard that you're using instead of paper, um, that might affect the color a little bit. This is basically like watercolor, what we're using. Um, I have paintbrushes. I realize that a lot of you guys won't have paintbrushes, so you do not have to by any means use paintbrushes. Um, things like cotton swabs. Um, cotton balls, toothbrush, anything where you can grass, anything you apply the paint to the surface will work for this. So you can experiment with those different materials and some mark making. Joel, you want to try the purple? Yep. All right, so dip your paintbrush in the purple and paint it on the paper. Awesome. So this is the food coloring. You can kind of see what that looks like. Um, this is the prune juice here. It's going to maybe look like kind of like a coffee stain. This is the tea. Get that a little bit more squeezed out there. And you can make your tea and coffee stronger or weaker. You'll see a lot of cool YouTube videos of people painting with coffee and tea. Um, so it's pretty light tea pigment. I might want to try to make that a little bit darker with another bag of tea. And then here's the paprika here, um, kind of this burnt orange. And that's something too that I could add more paprika or more spice to the water and maybe even try to crush it down a little bit more to get a little bit darker pigments. Likewise, if you don't have a paintbrush, using things like cotton swab, you can kind of create your marks, your lines, color in your paint in your areas of your cast shadow, just like you would with um, a paintbrush. And then things like cotton balls, especially if you have a larger area that you're needing to cover, you could definitely use those to dab on a larger area. Think about your watercolor techniques when you work with um, these pigments. You could experiment with like adding salt in to create that salt texture, rubbing alcohol, that kind of separates the pigments a little bit. Um, splatter, spray, have fun with it. Um, this isn't, you know, realism. So you can kind of branch off and do something a little bit more abstract as you're painting in 
your cast shadows. So I've got a kind of like a teal color mixed up and I made this a little bit darker, my tea that I'll be using. Um, I just thought those two colors would look nice together. So just like you would if you were painting in watercolor, kind of start around your lines. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do this loosely because I like that look. Um, add in some greens as I go, I'm just kind of mix those up a little bit. shadow and painting it in, take a photo of it straight on and send it to me.